You've probably seen one of these, or even spent the day messing up your back on one. But what you really want is this. Although something like that could save your back, it's going to cost you thousands of dollars. So we're going to build one ourselves. So we figured starting off with a very inexpensive creeper from Harbor Freight that already has wheels is probably going to be the best way to go to build out the base. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we have the bottom of our frame. This second part is going to actually be the pivot. Now we're going to have to add this additional pivot point. We're going to use some sort of lifting mechanism here to lift this up and back down again. So let's start with this pivot first. We're going to use our C clamp to hold the creeper in place. And we have some spare 3 8 inch diameter steel tubing that we're going to use for the first pivot. Now off to the hardware store to pick up some supplies. Hey, Louie. We're gonna go with steel. Yeah. We're going with 3 4 inch weldable steel tubing, along with some 3 4 inch wide steel plating. Don't worry, we'll leave a list of all the parts in the description below. All right, we've got our six foot steel 3 4 inch square tubing, but first what we have to do is measure how high we want our back to go. This is actually a six foot piece. We're gonna cut this down to the four feet and then use the additional piece, which would go up like so to form our seat. Now we're getting somewhere, but before I add the secondary pivot point, let's go over all the electronics that's actually going to make this thing come together. First up is our linear actuator. His job is to lift and lower the seat. We're also going to use one of our 18 volt cordless drill batteries with this adapter, but we need a voltage converter to convert the 18 volts to 12 volts of the linear actuator. We'll add this toggle switch in line to control the setup. For now, we're hooking everything up temporarily. First, the battery to the voltage converter. Next up is the switch, which has directions on how to wire it up for using toggle mode. The voltage converter goes to the switch, and the switch goes to the linear actuator. Now for testing. Everything looks good, but we're going to have to adjust our linear actuator brackets. After mounting the linear actuator for some testing, it looks like there's quite a bit of play. We found a cool website that actually shows the best angle mounts for linear actuators based on your setup, and it looks like we're a bit off, so we need to fix that. So this build is becoming a lot more complex than what I thought it was, but I think we're getting a bit closer now that we've checked our angles. What we're going to do is we're going to take the extra piece of steel from our six foot piece that we cut down and we're going to create our next pivot point and hopefully this seat works the way that we want it to.
Okay, so we did cheat a bit using the flux core welder, but you could always drill holes and use nuts and bolts too to mount all your plates. I'm just not sure if the angles are right, so let's lower this and give it a try. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so that's a problem. <laughs> Okay, so here's another problem. This piece isn't working too well. So we're gonna remove this. We're gonna use this rod instead. It's gonna go into both of the steel arms for our seat. It's gonna help things be a bit more stable. Once the new metal rod was in place, the creeper worked nice and smooth, but we needed more power. So we bought a 3000 Newton or 670 pound capacity linear actuator out with the old and in with the new. We adjusted the bracket and we started putting everything back together. The new linear actuator was a bit short, so our angles were all off. But we came up with an idea on modifying our bracket to lift the seat before the linear actuator fully engaged. working. Come on, come on. Hey! It's time to put this bad boy to the test. <laughs> I'm going up. Let's take a look a little bit closer. So it looks like we've got some stress right here. And whoa! Oh my gosh! Well, that feels like complete and utter failure. But we were able to get ourselves off of the ground. So I think this could work. It just needs a bit more reinforcement.